Tonight, we're talking to family and friends of a Gwinnett County teacher and mom who died trying to save her daughter. She was known as a super mom. Her best friend and brother told our hope for she was a pillar of strength, kindness, and perseverance. Friday, September 11th was Sarah Jackson's birthday. Her best friend, Patricia Jackson, couldn't wait to celebrate. So I was preparing and ready for her birthday. The two aren't related, but had an instant connection through their work as special education teachers at Duluth Middle. Sarah decorated Patricia's desk for her birthday, and Patricia wanted to return the favor. But Sarah wouldn't get a chance to see it. On Labor Day, Sarah drowned, trying to rescue her youngest daughter who went underwater in a lake at a Gwinnett County Park. Uh, just a, a wall of just emotion hit me immediately. James Jackson, Sarah's brother, flew from Washington State to Georgia the next day, just as Patricia learned the news from a Duluth Middle Administrator. And she said, um, we've had a teacher pass. And I said, okay, what do you need me to do? Like, do you need me to go watch their class? And she said, no, it was Sarah. And that just broke everything. Patricia's thoughts immediately went to Sarah's four children, ages 9 to 20, now under their uncle's care. Everything I'm doing right now is nothing she wouldn't do for me. In the week since James arrived, he's learned so much about his sister. Sarah worked for nonprofits, overcame homelessness to graduate from Georgia Gwinnett College, all while being a strong mom. That was my sister. Each one of these children have a huge jump in life because they were exposed to Sarah Jackson. She was like super mom. Patricia did decorate Sarah's desk four days after she died. The decorations included a crown, returning the favor for the tiara Sarah gave her. I had to make sure that I gave her her final crown. Thinking of her girls and her students tonight there in Gwinnett County. Now, James said he will apply for guardianship of his nieces as he and Sarah often talked about how to take care of each other should one of them pass away.